Hey planner friends, it's Ashley. Today we are going to be getting my fitness planner all set up and ready to go for the week. I'm actually using the Teacher Happy Planner as my fitness planner, so I'm gonna show you guys how I convert this. And I'm tracking things a little bit differently this week, so I'll walk you guys through that process as well. So for stickers that I'm gonna be using, I decided to go with the print princess <laughs> stickers. I'm going with Merida from Brave because I absolutely love her red hair paired with that navy blue. Like that color combo to me is gorgeous. So these are the two um, Disney and the Happy Planner sticker books that I have. These are from the Princess Collection. I love these ones so much. Now, the teacher layout from the Happy Planner is set up Monday through Friday and the one that I have specifically is undated. But I'm gonna use box stickers to cover up Monday through Friday. I will recategorize each one of those boxes. And then here in a little bit, you'll see me date this um, for Monday through Sunday because we need the weekends as well to be tracking health and fitness stuff. I love this decorative box sticker and when I seen it, I knew I wanted to use it, but I didn't wanna use it over on any of the sections where I'll be writing things because it's too big and I won't be able to track what I need to track. So I decided that uh, to go ahead and use it on the left side where it normally would say Thursday and Friday. I know what I'm gonna be tracking in both of those rows so it's not a big deal that I don't have a box sticker like the other days to note what I'm gonna put there. And like I said, I'll explain to you here shortly what I'm categorizing everything, how I'm tracking, what I'm tracking, and just all of the, all of the tracking details. Now for this week, I wanted to track things a little bit differently than what I did last week. So I pulled out my spread from last week and was kind of thinking through what was I tracking, what do I wanna start tracking now, and how do I wanna set this up before I moved any further because that kind of dictates where I put stickers. For example, the second box down is gonna be for nutrition and you'll see that I don't put a lot of stickers there because I need as much room as possible in those boxes to write out what I'm eating for the day. So the first row, what I will be putting there is my intention for the day. So kind of what I wanna focus on for the day. Maybe it is getting more sleep, it is uh, going to bed earlier, it is doing my morning routine, which I'm still not very good at. Oh my goodness, I don't like getting up early people. It's really hard for me. But anyways, that's my intention for the day. The next row is gonna be where I am tracking nutrition. So this is literally whatever I eat, I'm writing it down. The third row, this is for nutrition tracking. Now this is where I'm going to track my carbs, proteins, fats, and how many calories I've had. Now here's the thing, I accidentally forgot to put my goals in the box. So in that left section where all the boxes are, I wrote out carbs, protein, fats, and cows, and I meant to write in my goals for each day there. So I did end up going back afterwards and I wrote those in but I just wanted to let you know that I have my goals in that box and then in the columns, you'll see me set it up here later, or not in the columns, but in the row, you'll actually see me set it up to where I can write in what I'm tracking for the day. The next section, the next row where the big orange Brave sticker is at, that first one is going to be where I write in my workouts and then the last row is going to be for some other things that I'm tracking. For the things I'm tracking in the bottom row, we have water, so how much water I drink for the day, how many times I had coffee because I tend to drink way too much coffee and I'm trying to limit that, not like limit it to where I'm not having any coffee, but getting it down to where I'm only drinking coffee twice a day instead of three and four and, and, and more times a day. Uh, so I'm tracking my coffee. I'm also tracking how many calories I burned, how much sleep I got, and how many steps that I have. And I get the calories burn, the sleep, and the steps all from my Fitbit. So that's what's gonna be in that bottom row.
I think the Disney and Happy Planner Princess stickers are so stinking cute, but I honestly don't pull them out as often as I thought I would. Let me know if you're the same way or do you use them? I don't know, like normally I hoard stickers that I love and I like try to keep them. I don't know why, but I'm waiting for that special occasion, you know what I mean? But with these ones, I love them. I think they're really pretty. I love the colors. I love the princesses there, but I just don't grab for them very often and I'm not really sure why. But I do love the way that this turned out and I'm really, really thankful that I used them. So if, if you have stickers lying around that you don't grab for very often, I wanna challenge you to try and use those stickers. And now I'm gonna pull out the Planner Basics sticker book and I'm gonna use the large numbers that are in there to date this. Now, when I use the large numbers, I don't put like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, cause I know that like the first column is for Monday, the second column is for Tuesday, so on and so forth. So when I use larger number stickers to date it, I don't put the days of the week cause I know what they're for. But sometimes if I use smaller number stickers to date it, I will write in the days of the week. Sometimes I don't. It's just kind of, I don't know, feel like what I'm feeling or whatever. But if you want to uh, put Monday, Tuesday, you totally can. That's entirely up to you. I just, like I said, I know that the first row is for Monday, so on and so forth. So sometimes I don't write in the days of the week. And here is where I'm gonna start writing in the tracking that I'm doing for nutrition. So for each day of the week, I'm gonna write out carbs, proteins, fats, and calories. Um, one tip that I have for you, if, regardless of what planner you're using for fitness, whether it's you know a teacher planner, you have the wellness planner, you have the actual fitness planner, you're using a vertical, you're using a dashboard, it doesn't matter. Or if you're not even using a happy planner and you have a different planner, it doesn't matter. But one tip that I have for you is if you're tracking different habits or things that you're trying to like little goals like um, for example water <laughs> that's not a little goal it's really hard to get the water in right <laughs> but um, I recommend setting that up ahead of time before the week starts so going ahead and writing out the titles for the things that you're tracking because whenever you're in a hurry you're trying to quickly write things down you don't have to mess with rewriting those during the times that you're busy so that's a tip that I have for you I do like to go ahead and set all of these up for the week in advance. Okay, so here I'm gonna go in with my Tombow double-sided tape and I'm gonna fix this planner up some because I have alternated back and forth between the wellness happy planner and the teacher planner. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to adhere the sheets together that I didn't use. And you can see that they're blank because I went from one planner layout to another. So I'm gonna stick those together so then whenever I actually flip through this thing, it'll just be week by week and there won't be blank pages in between. And here is where my double-sided tape messed up on me. And this is the first time this has ever happened and I've been using this stuff for a long time. And I started to panic because I couldn't get it figured out. And I was like, what is this thing's problem? This is literally the last thing of tape that I have on me right now. Um, I need to order some more, but I was freaking out because I'm like, no, I've already got a little bit on here and I know it's not enough to stick the pages together. But I finally got it figured out and I got it working. Thank goodness. It was a slight little panic attack that I had. Is that dramatic to have a panic attack over your double-sided tape? Maybe, but I had one, so it's all good. Turn around, 
All right, I'm gonna continue sticking these pages together, but I wanted to go ahead and give you guys the code word for this video. It's gonna be brave. And I cannot wait to see how y'all get creative with it because for every word that I've given you, you guys have gotten super creative and I love it. I love it so much. Listen, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.